Hello and welcome. Good afternoon. This is Recess with Ange and I'm Coach Angela. I've been a fitness coach for over a decade and I am a homeschool mom for two decades. So you guys are my uh, my favorite people, homeschool moms. So I want to talk to you today. I got a great question that I want to share the answer with you guys. But before I do, um, I want to tell you that I have um, a different schedule this week because I have some family trips scheduled this week. So I will only be on the air Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. I promise I have some great information to share with you. But um, we have this great opportunity because we live so close to Chicago. Um, whenever Chicago has something neat going on, I love to take our family up there. So our local um, science um, museum is having a Christmas uh, themed event so I'm taking the family there on Thursday and so I won't be on the air then and then tomorrow I have um, a special meeting with some homeschool moms that that will keep me from being on the air so I'll see you Monday Wednesday Friday this week and uh, maybe next week we'll be back on regular schedule so welcome to the show um, and I see I have Teresa online hi <laughs> she has been my friend since we were uh, we high <laughs> and uh, just love her to death. So thanks for being here, Teresa. Um, today I'm going to be talking about how often you should be working out. Now I have noticed, and I, I don't know if you've noticed this too, but um, if you follow anyone on social media, there are some people that are very, very popular. They have a huge following um, and they seem to work out really hard every single day. Now, one thing I want to point out about them is a lot of times they're very young. So the, maybe they're in their early 20s um, and mid-20s. Um, they're not like me where they're in their, their 40s. Um, they're much younger. And so they probably have the ability to work out every day and at that intensity. But they're also most of the time former athletes who are used to that type of activity every day. So I want to talk to you about us moms, moms that, you know, we probably, we may or may not have been athletic in our past, but we're definitely not athletic now. Some of you may just be getting started again in your fitness journey. So exercising like that is not a good idea when you're getting back into it again, or, you know, you have had some past injuries, maybe you've just had a child, um, you know, th there's some things that you need to take into account. Now, the reason why this question came up is they were watching this, this person that came up with this question was watching this gal, and the gal told her, her audience that the question was, how often should I work out every day? And she said, you should work out every day. But everything that she posts is this high intensity, high rep count stuff that not everybody should be doing every day. So I kind of want to talk about that a little bit. Think about who her, her audience may be all 20 year olds, former athletes, and that may be who she was talking to. I don't know this person, so I don't know for sure. But I know my audience, and my audience are moms. So should be working, should we be working out at that intensity every single day? And most likely, the answer is going to be no. So how do you work out every day? Well, it depends, one, how long you've been working out consistently. So if you're someone who has been working out for, you know, for uh, three months or more, you could probably add a little bit more volume into what you're doing. If you're just getting started, there needs to be more rest involved, more recovery involved in what you're doing. So let me give you an example. So let's say you are beginning just getting started back into fitness again, you haven't worked out consistently in over a year, maybe longer, then you definitely want to have some strength training in what you're doing. Strength training is always important, no matter what, what type of physique you wanna have or what you consider to be fit, like we talked about the other day. Strength training is extremely important for women and I don't know how women got the idea that lifting heavy is bad or we should only be doing yoga and Pilates or group training, group fitness classes are the way to go. Maybe it was the aerobics craze back in the day. I don't know. That was before my time. So <laughs> I'm not that old. But we should definitely be strength training 
when we work out. That should be our number one priority. And then some type of cardiovascular exercise. Now for moms, most moms I know, we are extremely busy. And so we also need to think about time and time management with our workouts. So strength training number one, time management. So you want to work out in a way that gives you the most bang for your buck. So you know, in, unless you're going to be a competitor, then isolation type exercises are important. Um, you know, and examples would be bicep curls, um, tricep extensions, um, lateral raises, things that are more isolation. Now, those are important if you are trying to build a specific physique. But for most moms, we just want to get healthy, we want to be in shape, we want to be able to stay awake when our kids are awake, we want to be able to run around with them. So being fit to us is more about having the endurance and the ability and the flexibility and things like that. So strength training number one. Now how often should you strength train since that's the topic of this talk? Well, at least two days a week when you're beginning. And then as you get better, you could do three days a week, sometimes even four depending on the length of your workouts. Now typically my workouts are 15 minutes, 25 minutes tops, you know, but typically 15 minutes is what I do. And I do a lot of compound mo movements. And those movements um, would be, you know, goblet squats with a press or, um, you know, push ups with, you know, a, a twist or just putting a combinations of exercises together. One that works more of your body at once, a lot more muscular movement involved, so that means a higher caloric expenditure, which is what we want, and less time. So as moms, that's what we need. We need more bang for our buck exercises, things that are gonna get us in and out in less time. And then as far as cardiovascular exercise, now everybody nowadays is talking about, you know, HIIT training, H-I-I-T, which I've been talking about for decades. It's very, very important. However, when you're first starting out, no more than one, if you're just getting started, a week to two tops. I mean, it's very taxing on your body and, you know, we need to be able to move and take care of our kids. We don't want to be so sore we can't move. So one or two a week when you get started. So that would probably be a strength workout and then maybe a day's rest and an interval workout and then a day's rest, putting those days of rest in there. Recovery is extremely important. You've got to make sure that you are getting recovery days in, that you have rest days scheduled. And it, on those rest days, it doesn't necessarily mean you do nothing. You can do some active recovery. Now, active recovery, some people will think of it as, you know, going out and uh, going for a swim or a bike ride or playing out with the kids playing ball or something like that. And that's great. As long as it's not something that's going to be an over exerting yourself, keeping your heart rate in maximum levels for long periods of time. So rest days. Let's talk about rest days because I really want you to do this. I want you to learn how to take rest days. You're a mom's and I know it's hard to do that, but I want you to take rest days. Now on rest days, what can you do? So rest days are great days to get in some foam rolling, to get in some corrective work. And you can do a little bit of working out, you know, some big compound movements that are not lifting heavy weights that are, you know, uh, like playing with battling ropes or pushing a sled or, or things like that. You know, it's not really high output that you're that you're doing on rest days but you're doing something so foam rolling is always number one I always recommend foam rolling and then active recovery doing corrective exercise now a great way to get corrective now let me talk about corrective exercise because you may not know what that is so corrective exercise is basically doing movements where you are you may have a deficiency in your movement pattern so you do a corrective exercise to improve mobility in that joint in that area okay so if you have shoulder issues then you want to do corrective exercises for the shoulder to to bring more mobility into that shoulder region so corrective exercises are great to focus on either before you work out or on your active rest days okay so a great way that i like to do this um, is to take it and put it into a circuit form. So on your active rest days, you're still doing something, but you're not overexerting yourself. You're giving your body time to recover. So I would take a corrective exercise and then I would pair it with something like 
a sled push or some battling ropes, you know, just doing some alternating waves. And then we'd take a rest. So we do like 30 seconds corrective, 30 seconds battling rope exercise, and a minute to two minutes rest. And maybe do about five rounds of that. And that's great. That's active rest, active recovery, and that's gonna help keep you in great form so that you continue to work out for a long time because longevity is what we're looking for. So quick workouts, strength training, make sure you're doing that. Make sure you're getting your active rest, incorporating some corrective exercise on those days. And I guarantee you that you will be able to work out for a very, very long time and without a lot of these aches and pains. And please don't work out like you're 20 years old if you're not 20 years old. <laughs> you can work out every day if you are doing the right type of exercise, one for where you are physically and for where you want to go. So make sure your workout program is aligned to your goals. And if you need any help with that, just reach out to me. I will be happy to, to, um, to talk to you about that. If you go to my website, homeschoolfitnesscoach.com, you can click right in there to schedule a 30 minute consultation. It's a success session. And basically we just talk about where you are right now, what challenges you have, my suggestions on what you can do to put, we'll put a plan together for you. Whether that means you're going to be training with me or not, I just want to help. It's a free call. You can go ahead and schedule that today. And I am looking forward to meeting you. So thank you for joining me on Recess with Ange. And if you have any suggestions for topics you'd like me to cover, um, if you have a question like this gal did, you know, go ahead and share it. It could turn into another show. And uh, and any other um any other uh, critiques or things you want to share with me, let me know. But um, I love you guys. You guys are the best. I will see you on Wednesday at 1 p.m. Central. Love ya. Mwah.